hello everyone welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot so everybody before we get started in your reading I wanted to remind you about the Christmas giveaway okay yay it's coming up um, all you have to do to enter to win one of these decks is to be a subscriber to the channel and type in the name of the of the deck you want to win in the comment section okay um, really, really easy to enter to win. Um, the decks that we have this year to give away is the Star Kiss Tarot deck, really awesome deck. Uh, really good for intuitive readers as well. Um, and we have the beginner tarot cards. This is awesome if you're trying to learn how to read tarot. It spells everything out for you on every card, you guys. I'm not kidding. Um, and then we've got the Lucky Journey Tarot deck, a very traditional tarot deck, but it's got very colorful, beautiful illustrations. Um, we also have the Cat Tarot, you guys, a really popular one for the giveaway, so another chance to win that. And the Garbage Pail Kids deck, a really fun deck, you guys, um, another chance to win this one as well. And we're having another giveaway on Valentine's Day, so... Um, like I said, in order to enter to win one of these decks, all you have to do is uh, be a subscriber to the channel, type in the name of the deck you want to win in the comments section, and then on um, Christmas Day, I'm going to announce the five lucky winners, you guys. Good luck. I love the giveaways, you know. <laughs> Anyway, um, all right, let's just see what Spirit wants you to know, okay? Um, whatever comes out, comes out. This reading is for the collective, so just take what resonates. Leave the rest behind, right? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support, all of the love, uh, the, the likes, my subscribers. A huge thank you, thank you to you and everybody new here. Welcome. I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, all right, so Spirit, what messages do you have for me for my beautiful collective? Messages for the collective. Ooh, what the heck? Honestly, I feel like there's like a big fight that pops off. Um, somebody may have just been put in a third party or they've been very betrayed, maybe by a whole group of people. If they were being betrayed or cheated on, there was a whole group of people who knew about it. I feel like this person is trying to isolate themselves from everybody. Okay, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, see, somebody, I feel like they chose, uh, I feel like this is who they chose over you, this Queen of Wands energy. She could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but I'm getting the sense that she, um, Oh boy, somebody here is getting, what is this? This person's dealing with two feminines. There could be a fight and they're stuck in the middle of it. I feel like, um, yeah, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. I feel like too, um, maybe this, the, this queen of wands energy, she could have been cheating on this person and just couldn't keep it inside anymore. So decided to tell them, but she, she's, uh, they're having some kind of fight and somebody's choosing a new path. I'm kind of getting the sense it's this queen of swords, queen of swords, queen of wands. Yeah. And somebody feels like an absolute fool because you know what? They missed out on you. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. They missed out on an empress in the minor arcana. Um, you're very abundant, very stable, um, very beautiful, smart, driven, dedicated, re reliable, um, successful. And you're out here single as well. You're happy being single, though. You're not a part of this mess. I don't know what this is. I'm kind of getting the sense that there were two other feminine energies here in this person's life. And, I, you know, I, I feel like they've been betrayed a couple of times, maybe by two separate feminines. Um, but I'm getting the sense that one is choosing a new path. And there's a, this person feels like a complete fool. There were other people involved in this. I kind of get the sense that this was, um, it's almost like your person was the last to know. 
okay? Everybody else knew. And they're feeling like, um, I feel like they were stuck in the middle or stuck between two feminine energies. Um, and I don't feel like it's your energy, okay? Um, you could be a Virgo. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, look, and if maybe this person was caught cheating. I just get the sense that somebody, you know, or, oh, no. Oh, no. Um, this person could be finding out they also have an STD. That's a possibility as well. And you're on a major glow up here. The star was on the bottom of the deck. I feel like somebody's been cheating, okay? Someone's been cheating. I feel like um, this, whoever they've been with has been, whoever your person is, they've been with a karmic. And this karmic, for the longest time, she's been way too stressed out over this person walking away. I feel like she knew that they were going to eventually walk away to come to you. And she tried to keep this person stuck in a situation for far too long. I'm getting the sense, too, that there could have been another feminine energy um, that was keeping this person stuck. I, it could be another ex. It could be somebody. It could even be like a family member or something like that. I don't know. But there was, there's clearly two different feminine energies here. And um, I feel like one of them is cheating on this person. They're turning their back. It, it, here's the thing. She's just done living with um, the worry and the trouble and the stress, knowing that this person is at any time going to walk away and turn their back on her. So I feel like she's out looking for new love, and she found it. She, I'm getting the sense that she may have even had an affair just to make this person jealous. There's also a lot of drinking going on. Um, and I feel like this karmic, the way she's telling this masculine that she's found somebody new, it's it's almost like she's bragging about it just to try to hurt them. I, I'm getting the sense that she's trying to make this person jealous or something, but um, this masculine is walking away. They don't want to be around anyone right now, especially knowing that there were other people in their inner circle that knew about this. They're in a whole lot of regret for ever turning their back on you. Okay? I, I feel like this person is, they're feeling like a fool. Um, they're embarrassed. They're, uh, they're ashamed of how they treated you. Um, they don't know who their real friends are. They're like, who are these people around me? They knew about this and they didn't say anything. They're isolating themselves from, like, everybody right now, okay? Um, they could even be trying to avoid this karmic at all costs right now. I feel like this person kind of just wants to be alone to lick their wounds, okay? Yeah, look at, they're in so much regret because when they turn their back on you, this soulmate connection, they actually lost their wish fulfillment. This person is thinking about all the time that they wasted with somebody else because they could be happy building this Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles if they would have stayed with you, okay? This person's mad, angry, but I feel like they're getting ready to communicate with you Okay, they're angry, they're hurt. I feel like they've just been betrayed, um, possibly by several different people. You know, it's making this person boss up, though. Yeah, they've been betrayed. They realize that somebody was just trying to keep them away from you, I feel. They were, this karmic was just trying to stand in the way of this connection. And they're, they're realizing that. There was really no love there. Um, and the karmic is doing some, like, 
really nasty things to try to um, make this person jealous and you know what they're just done yeah they, this person wants to come towards you now I'm getting the sense that now they want to talk yeah there's they're they're angry they're jealous um, I feel like they're upset and jealous uh, about what the karmic is doing they're upset because somebody got in the middle of this connection they've been betrayed by friends um, or family members they've been um, betrayed by this karmic uh, and you know and they lost a really strong powerful connection here they know that there could also be somebody who um, I'm getting the sense that maybe there's somebody else who's telling them about things that you're doing. Maybe you could have possibly recently purchased a new home or made some kind of a house move or location change. I feel like this person's just really angry about everything, okay? Yeah, these third-party situations, man. Whoever they were entertaining before, whoever they didn't want to let go of before, they're walking away now. They're turning their back. And I feel like this person is wanting to communicate with you now, the one that they can't stop thinking about. The one who gave them unconditional love. Okay? You're about to get some communication here very quickly. This is a lot of fast-moving communication coming in. Um, so I feel like they're going to tell you all of this. Yeah, they want to heal things with you. They see you as their wish. You're this star energy moving on. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, um, Virgo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. But you're taking that love and you're walking away with it. They want your love back. They want the happiness back. They know they wasted a lot of time here messing around with people who really didn't care about them. Okay? They, they were holding on and paying attention to the wrong people. And they're, they let you just walk out of their life. Okay? Which is what you're doing right now. You're moving on. You could be moving, traveling moving away okay but this person wants to take some really fast action towards you um they could be a capricorn they could be a leo aries sagittarius maybe libra gemini aquarius virgo energy taurus They want to get back together, collective. They Now they want you. They know with you they could have had um, wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, happiness, building uh, something solid, something stable, generational wealth. They know they could have had it all with you if only they could get you to love them again. If you would just extend that cup of love to them, they may be able to get all of this back. But I see you loading that cup into this boat and um, leaving them behind okay yeah now this person I feel like they're ready to be committed they're, they they want to be serious okay they want to build something solid and be loyal to you they're feeling like an absolute fool and it's like everybody knew about this besides them whatever happened to this person yeah this is somebody who put you out in the cold before. You know, you were in the Five of Pentacles energy, and I feel like they turned their back, they sacrificed you, and they just put you out in the cold. Now this person wants to come back around. And honestly, it could have been years that this person um, hasn't communicated with you. Okay? The, um, the people that they've been with, too, could have just wanted them for money. They may still be asking this person for money. Okay, yeah, look, this person. 
with the moon card i feel like the um uh, yeah i just heard talking to the moon by bruno mars um they may have some things that they want to keep hidden from you or they may be wondering you know they don't know if you're going to give them another chance or not i feel like this person's kind of praying hoping that you'll give them another chance you could be a cancer yeah they want this new love and they don't know if you're entertaining anybody else or not because it's like i said it could have been years in separation they don't know what you're doing they may be thinking that you could have somebody um that you're you're seeing or talking to you could have new love that you're keeping hidden they don't know this person could be a taurus virgo capricorn they could be really good with their money they could be a business owner yeah see because everybody wants an empress right and you're in this empress energy um i feel like this person they're about to communicate with you they're wondering um if you have anyone new they don't know they don't know what's going on in your life besides maybe the fact that you're on a, a total glow up. Um, and right now you are attracting new, new opportunities and new soulmate connections to you like a magnet. They could be watching you too, especially at night. So if you're on the internet, this person is watching you like crazy. And they're about to take action, okay? Yeah, you're closing out a cycle. You're being, I feel like spirits put you in the spotlight. They could be watching you, whatever you're posting on the internet, social media. Um, they're really kind of doing their homework here on you. Trying to figure out if you're with anybody new. Where, where have you moved, right? They're, if you've moved away, they're looking for your address, um, so they can come and talk to you. Yeah, and spirits put you on this pedestal for a reason. Like you're, it's clear to see um, that you're their true soulmate. You know, this person knows who you are to them, and now they want it. And what did I say about the true soulmate is on the bottom of the deck? Now this person wants to come forward. Okay, so you're about to get communication from them um let's see how they're feeling how is this in I, I feel like they're in love they're choosing a new path and uh freeing themselves from from a situation yeah and there's that love at the split okay so what can you show me spirit yeah they may even be planning a house move. If you've moved away, you could have moved like a distance away. This person is planning on moving closer to you. Okay. So they're packing up right now. They're leaving a lot of people behind. This person is desperate. I feel like they want to know where you're living. If you've moved away, like I said, they're looking for your address. Um... They're hoping you don't hate them, okay? But uh, you may still be resentful of this person. I feel like the soul tribe here, um, we've already been through our forgiving stage, okay? Um, I don't see you being very upset or resentful over or bitter or angry over this person. I see you moving on and being very bold and confident and focused on other things and healing okay yeah they are so sorry that they hurt you they're hoping that you can i don't know they maybe they're feeling compassionate or they want you to be compassionate they're very frustrated because they see you leaving their life there's a lot of forward movement here i've got the moving um trailer here i've got moving vans here they know they're out of time. I feel like you could be moving away to another place in the world, okay? You could be moving away a great distance. It's making this person sad, worried, okay? 
wanting to reach out, wanting to message you, okay? Oh, they know they totally screwed up here. Uh, yeah, they screwed up. Bad. With an Empress in the Minor Arcana, Empress Energy, okay? You're out here fulfilling your wishes. You're this person's wish as well. And you're leaving them behind. I feel like they're freeing themselves now. They're irritated with everybody around them. Um... Yeah, they really messed up. This person, I feel like they're they're very guilty. They're they're going to be taking full responsibility for this, but I'm getting the sense that they're going to pop up on you and give you this surprise visit. You're not going to be expecting this collective, you're not. You're out here like I said, focused on other things. Your work, your business, your abundance, your glow up, okay? Whatever you're putting online and moving on this person doesn't want you to leave their life they're trying to figure out a way to move um to where you're going okay but you are about to get some communication from this person they're just going to show up okay wherever you are this person um th i feel like they're just going to show up Yeah, let's see what they have to say. What does this person want to say? All I'm thinking about right now is how attracted to you I am. Our connection is complicated. There are issues out of our control. I, yeah, I feel like somebody um, interfered with this connection and held them back from you. Yeah, yeah, I feel like this is you. We need to let each other go. There's a lot that they want to say. A lot wants to come out. I do love you. I just don't know how to show you right now. Yep, and this keeps coming out too. Maybe we are better off separated. You know, this person may feel like they don't stand a chance in the world, okay, when it comes to getting you back, but they're going to try. I feel like you're good all on your own. You're in this energy, um, maybe doing better since you broke it off with this person, okay? Um, so maybe you're happy being single. Some of you may even feel too busy to have um, to have love in your life right now. You're you're really focused on whatever it is that you're growing. Yeah, I will take action soon. Please believe in me. See, I feel like you're ready to move forward, and they don't want to let you go. Um, I don't understand what this connection really is, but I feel like they um, they feel that pull to you. Okay. Yep. Oh, and they're thinking you may be better off without them, but they still love you and they can't stop thinking about you. So, um, yeah, this person, they know that you're doing better um, without them right now. They can see this. They're really kicking themselves for this. Like they um, it's it's made it very hard for this person to come back in the way that they treated you. But they do love you. I still love you. They can't stop thinking about you. And I feel like this person, um, they're getting ready to communicate. And they could even be making some moving plans as well. Okay. Anyway, Collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps and resonates. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys. And good luck. Um, enter to win one of those fabulous decks, right? And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.